What's going on, everybody? My name is Polo. Hope you guys are doing well. And today I'm checking out some stand-up comedy from the somewhat reclusive Bo Burnham. Let's get right into it. Let's go. All right. Thank you so much. What an honor. Uh, my ex-girlfriend had a really weird fetish. Uh, she used to like to dress up as herself and then act like a raging bitch all the time. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great opening joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, like impressions? Like impressions? Yeah. <clears throat> Why? <laughs> right. <laughs> I was hoping he wouldn't do any. Thank you. That was, uh, that was Socrates. Uh, <laughs> I like Bo Burnham because uh, uh, from what I've learned from him, uh, listening to his music, I I've become a fan. Uh, he's highly intelligent, highly gifted in terms of his writing, music, pretty much anything that he sets his mind to do. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, going to be fun. <laughs> Guys, I'm a realist. I try to romanticize reality. You know, like when life gives you lemons, honestly, you found lemons. When life gets you down, you know, make a comforter. But at the same time, I don't deny the beauty in the world, guys, because there's so much beauty, because life, life can be so symmetrical that gives birth to this almost silent poetry, you know, like a hermaphrodite playing the guitar, or a young Amish boy trying to blow out the light bulbs on his birthday cake, or, or a girl who's terrible at grammar saying, Mama, you raised me good, and then being pushed on a well. Guys, can't all be there. Wow. People complain about my show, they think uh, I act too theatrical or flamboyant, and that makes me so angry. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. Nice. Your mama's so fat, your mama's so ugly, your mama's so stupid, your mother's breasts sagged with such severity that the late great surrealist artist Salvador Dali mistook them for clocks. Guys, I, uh... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. That means they were pretty long. Uh, we've done a lot of laughing, which I can't thank you enough for, but we haven't done a lot. There's a lot of thinking. I'd like to do that right now, and what better to stop comic inertia, a little bit of poetic friction. I've written some haikus. Haikus are Japanese poems, consisting of 17 syllables, three lines, five, seven, five. And I find them to have a certain clearness in their cogency, sort of a uh, soundness in their simplicity, if you will. So we'll do right now, hopefully. Jeez, Christ, this dude has a, a vocabulary as hard for, for me to keep up. In syllables, three lines, five, seven, five. And I find them to have a certain clearness in their cogency, sort of a uh, soundness in their simplicity, if you will. So what we'll do right now, hopefully, is I'll uh, read these haikus, think for a bit, and then we'll go back to the jokes and they'll have benefited. So uh, can I get some uh, mood lighting, please? Just Haikus perfect. are dope. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so get the giggles out, and uh, these are my haikus. <sighs> my aunt used to say, slow and steady wins the race. She died in a fire. <laughs> Old people's skin sags because it is being pulled towards the underworld. <laughs> Pages are blank. <laughs> Those in glass houses shouldn't throw stones or masturbate in the daytime. All right. For 15 cents a day, you can feed an African. They eat pennies. <laughs> These are real close to dad jokes. And finally, Bono. If you want to help poor people, sell your tinted shades, you tool. Thank you so much, guys. I believe in the Zodiac. You know, I'm a Leo. I loved Inception. But this is something a little bit, uh... A little bit morbidly ironic. My grandmother, she was a cancer. And she was actually killed by a giant crab. <laughs> Swallowed some glitter. This is a song about the idea of irony, so strap in. My dog's stomach was very upset, so I put him in the car and we went to the vet. And on our way to the vet, I killed a cat, yes, it is, isn't that wow. ironic? 
I adopted a child from overseas to rescue him from child labor factories. And on his very first birthday, we went to build a bear workshop. <laughs> Isn't that a I R O N I C I N O R I R O N I C? Yes, and a water park is burned to the ground, and a tow truck has broken down. I always used to cry when I laughed, and then I was raped by a clown. Oh. <laughs> wow. That was a dark one. It's ironic, right? I was watching Al Gore on CNN. He was talking about the environment. And then out of boredom, my pet polar bear shot himself. Oh! That ironic. Yeah. I dated an animal rights activist. One day she got really pissed because I was eating veal that was wrapped in pita bread. Pita. Ah, nice. I said, isn't that an I-R-O? And I say, I had an I-R-O. Yeah, I said, I'm a stand-up comic and I always sit and slouch. And I got my girlfriend pregnant on my sterile uncle's pull-out couch. <laughs> <laughs> my sterile uncle's pull-out couch. Got her pregnant. Bars. <laughs> See what you did there. Stand up comic and I always sit and slouch. And I got my girlfriend pregnant on my sterile uncle's pull out couch. I R O N I C. Yes, and a Bob Barker got all of my pets pregnant. Father had Alzheimer's, and one day we were. Thanks. <laughs> really good set. That was great. Thank you so much. Bye, Vernon, everybody. There's a saying that I like that goes um, if you want to tell the truth, make them laugh, or they will K I double L you. I have to say that because of YouTube is a little sensitive. Um, and I like that saying because it's very true. All right. People love, um, comedians. They love people that can make you laugh. Uh, in my opinion, it takes quite a bit of intelligence to make people laugh using just your words and not using gimmicks or, or gags and things of that nature. Uh, because, uh, you have to understand a little bit how humor works and how the brain works, which, you know, so many people are not good at. But if you think about like the greatest comedians like Carlin, like Chappelle and the list goes on, even like uh, other comedians like Jamie Foxx, they're so multi-talented and can do different things. They can act, sing, play different instruments. Um, and, they're, and a lot of them are just known for their brilliance. You know, Chris Rock, uh, the list goes on. The top comedians are typically highly, highly intelligent. Bill Burr, uh, the list, the list goes on. And uh, while I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listing some greats, excuse me. I think that uh, Bo Burnham uh, is in that category if he puts out enough work. You know what I mean? As far as uh, the work, I mean, the body of work he's put out so far that I've witnessed is pretty damn phenomenal. Um, but I do think he needs to work more if he if he ever wants to be considered. I don't think he I don't know if he cares about being considered uh, one of the one of the one of the greater entertainers. I, don't, I could it's, it's hard to put him in just the comedian box because I like his music more than I like his comedy, and I like his comedy. <laughs> you know so. Uh, I don't know what I'm rambling about. This was a, a, a great, a great uh, stand up thing here where he showed that he can also play the piano uh, and I already knew he could write music and do everything else. This was fun. Uh, but yeah, Bo, if you see this video, which I doubt you will put out some more music, man, you killed it. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you did subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Peace.